With Sentry, we use tracing to capture events in our application as they happen for all of our users. Those events we're collecting are captured as spans, or individual timed operations, like loading a page. A span has a start time, an end time, and many other possible attributes added automatically or inserted by your code. Those will be useful for searching in a moment. A span will often have additional nested child spans that are created as a part of the original operation. Let's say we visit the cart page in our app. Sentry will automatically create a new trace for that request and we'll see it show up in the Trace Explorer. And when we click into that trace, we'll get a waterfall view of a timeline of everything that happened during that page load. In this example, the first two and a half milliseconds were spent by the browser checking its local cache. Then it established a connection to the server and finally it requested the page, which included downloading several JavaScript files, plus other assets like an image and the favicon. Each span tells us what was captured, how long it took, whether it ran in parallel with other spans, and those attributes that were injected automatically and may have additional information we add manually. Different operations may supply additional unique information. In the example of the loading page, we have a whole bunch of information from our React front end about our end user, like what kind of browser they used, what kind of device they were on, and even the country and region. All of this helps us search our traces to find potential problems or spot opportunities to make our app faster.